Hey guys, welcome back to Latasha Hewitt Holmes. If this is your first time watching this channel, welcome. I'm Latasha Hewitt, a real estate agent as well as a mom and a wife. And on this channel, we talk about all things home from real estate things to even just home care, home maintenance, home organization, and most recently, minimalism. So, and that's kind of what we're gonna be talking about today. We are going to tackle the infamous coat closet. As you guys know, the temperatures are dropping. And I don't know about all of you, but I'm <laughs> reaching for coats every day um, just to make sure that the, the cold breeze doesn't take me out every time I step outside. So one thing about coats is they have this tendency of just like kind of packing together. Even as you get new coats, you kind of just add it to the pile. And sometimes, I don't know if you're like me, you're like, whatever happened to that coat that I once had? right? And a lot of times we can't even see it because it's so packly tightly packed in the closet. And so this is one of those reasons why minimalism is really going to come in handy during this season. So we're going to talk about kind of this process of how we're going to minimize the coats in this closet. We're a family of four. And so there are four of us and as you guys know, the weather doesn't always stay exactly the same. Sometimes you need a light coat, sometimes you need a heavier coat, sometimes you may be going to church or another formal event and you want more of a dressy coat. So it's not always feasible to have just one or two coats, but it is important to narrow it down to as few as possible and the ones that you really wear. And that's what we want to tackle today. All right, so as I'm going through this process, we're gonna talk about some tips that you can utilize um, for yourself. So I haven't done any pre-work in here. You guys are seeing it as it is. I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer so that you can see everything that we have going on in here. And then we're gonna take our steps of minimizing what we have here. You guys ready to do this with me? I hope you are. Okay guys, so here we are now in the closet. As you can see, I mean, it's not too small of a closet. There's really a top shelf up here where we keep all of our hats and scarves that we could easily grab. There's really no rhyme or reason to that, but we're gonna go through those as well. And then there's another basket that we've dedicated solely to gloves. As you can see, some are already falling out. Um, so we're gonna go through that because as we start a new season, we wanna make sure only what we need, only what we're using is what remains in the closet, which makes it easier for us to grab on the way out, okay? But let's start right now with our coats. Now, one of the secrets of minimalism when you're trying to declutter or get rid of things, uh, in this case, donate. Uh, we're going to probably donate. Sometimes I do sell a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, particularly if it's in really good shape and it's almost like you want to make sure it's going um, to someone that you could almost pass it off to. Uh, those are the types of things that I sell. Everything else just kind of falls in between or may have some little snag about it or something that's not completely perfect. I tend to just donate because coats, particularly during the season, are in high, de high demand, especially for the homeless or the less fortunate. And to me, this is a great opportunity to help out those in need, especially when we have more than enough. So um, I, I definitely, <laughs> you know, my children, I feel very comfortable just donating their things and they have to deal with it. My husband, on the other hand, I'm definitely not going to be touching his items. You know, this is a journey I'm on. He supports me. However, I will not be minimizing any of his coats <laughs> during this video because uh, I know he values um, uh, his coats very much and I want to uh, maintain a happy marriage but <laughs> the rest of us ladies we're going to tackle this so let's see what we have over here so I can see already that um, this is a coat um, my oldest daughter had last year for winter so I know it still fits it's in great condition so we're definitely going to keep that one so I'm just going to kind of hang that over there for now um, I'm already seeing these coats which my daughters had probably a couple of years ago, maybe three or four years ago. Um, and if you know anything about kids or you have children of your own, you know how they kind of grow out of things and consider that, oh, that's like a kid coat now. Uh, it was great at that time, but now it's kind of not their style. So looking at the condition of the coat, it's in pretty good condition. 
Um, zipper still works. I don't know, that kind of got stuck there. Um, I think probably with a good wash, this is something that I could sell. And when I sell, I don't sell things for expensive um, th reasons. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to make money, but I am trying to make it worth the while of posting it. So this is definitely something that we are probably going to sell. So I've created this uh, kind of keep, sell, and donate pile. Um, and it's very important to kind of go ahead and create those categories that you're going to put something in. Because if you leave it up to making a decision <laughs> while you're looking at it, oftentimes we uh, lean towards keeping things that we don't necessarily need to. So this is going to go into our sell pile, which is over here. All right, let's keep it moving. We're gonna go through this as quickly as possible. Um, there's another code, very similar um, for my other daughter. But one of the things about this, and this is another thing, make sure you check the pockets because every time you check your coat pockets, you know, this is where we store um, gloves, money, <laughs> money. This is also a big perk of decluttering and getting rid of things. You tend to find money in pockets. Um, so already we have a dollar. This is gonna go into our vacation fund. But sometimes you find those single gloves that you've been looking for like all last season. And you're like, oh, that's where it is. Um, so we're actually gonna throw this up into our glove pile and see if we can find the match. All right, but this, as you can see, is a little bit more worn because of the type of material. As you can see, it's kind of rubbed off. So to me, this is definitely a donate because it still can be worn. It still has like this nice, um, inside um, section here that's just really, really warm. So I think somebody else would appreciate it and doesn't really care that it's a little worn on the outside. So this for, for a scope that is going into our donation pile. So, um, you know, it's like I said, it's so much easier when you have those categories of where things are gonna go predetermined before you even start the process. And the reason they say to use the black trash bag, as you could probably already tell, is so that when you're doing through this process and your children are coming around or they see these bags, they're like, hey, I love that coat. How come you're getting rid of it? But if it's black and they can't see what's in there, they probably will be none the wiser. You can continue on um, doing what you have to do without any interruption. So that's really um, the, the basis behind the black trash bag, okay? All right, let's put this money in our pocket. Keep on moving. This is definitely a keep. Definitely a keep. This is a jacket I have for work. Um, the kids use it a lot, even though it's mine. Um, so this is kind of a, a coat that the four, well, the three girls use. So um, we're definitely gonna keep this one more for the lighter days. And it also has like a hood. So it's definitely something we want to, to use for like when it's not so cold or maybe it's raining. So we're gonna keep this one as well. Um, as I said before, we will not be touching my husband's coats at all. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so we're just gonna create a section for his things over here. Um, <laughs> Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of coats here, so we're hoping that he'll be uh, nicely influenced by uh, the fewer amounts of clothes on this side of the closet and maybe be inspired to give away some of his coats as well. But he has a lot of nice coats, so we'll see. Um, so this section is just going to be my husband's coats, and now we're going to deal with my coats, which is pretty much the remainder, although I do see a couple more my daughter um, now this is something we used to do but now that we're minimizing things we don't need to do this and this is like double hang the coats um, which really isn't effective to me because when you do that sometimes you can't find the coat you forget you even have it or when you're ready to grab the coat that you want there's like this thing underneath it this is a blazer that I don't really wear that much so we're gonna go ahead and um, try to sell this on Facebook marketplace if it doesn't sell we don't so let's put this in the sale pile and this in the keep pile. All right. This is a coat that I really, really like. Um, the only thing about this, and I, I have to say this, I have to make this confession. This was before I became a minimalist. Last season, I saw 
<laughs> where is it this coat i love calvin klein clothes i just love the way their clothes fit in general i saw this coat and i just loved all the buttons and like the the detail back here i mean come on guys this is this is a nice coat right but this is also a calvin klein coat also has a nice belt but I actually like this one more and I said wow I don't need two coats that are so similar right they're so similar and <laughs> previous Tasha would say keep them both you can never have too many black coats right but I'm really committed to this thing so we're actually going to sell this one and keep the one that I like the most oh, progress people progress Okay, so this coat, um, I really like this coat. I mean, as you can see, I have a kind of a style of coat that I like, which is kind of the, um, you know, the belted style. Um, I, I just like when they kind of run, go a little long and have the little vent in the back. And um, I, just, I just love this coat. But honestly, it doesn't fit me as well as it did when I first bought it. It's one of those coats that... You only can wear like a shirt with them. Like if you're having a sweater, it makes it really tight on your arms and I hate that feeling. So um, it's a really nice coat, but I think it's time for me to part ways with it. It's not in the best condition. Um, and I don't think it's worth dry cleaning enough to sell it. So I actually may go ahead and donate this coat. All right, already we can see the closet thinning and um, even that's a good feeling <laughs> for me. Um, when you're looking for motivation, when you are decluttering, you know, it's very important to visualize what it's gonna look like and how it's gonna simplify your life in the process. Because even just this past week, I went to grab a coat. Everything was so tight in here that I couldn't move anything. And we were in a hurry. And I just ended up like pulling something out, broke a hanger, some stuff fell to the floor. And that's when I said, this closet is next, okay? So um, this is also another coat that I, I like. Red is my favorite color. So when I saw this coat, I knew that I wanted it. However, I found that over the years, I don't really wear it as much as I thought I would. And because I don't wear it as much as I thought I would, but I still like the coat, this would be a coat that I think I will try to sell on Facebook Marketplace. So this is gonna go into our sell pile. Actually, we'll leave the hanger there. All right, we're making progress. This coat, is this? Oh, this is a, this is a coat. Uh, I don't even know where I got this coat. This is one of those coats that's, oh, you know, I think it might be for the girls. I have to see if they can still wear this because um, if they can still wear this, this will be a nice church coat. If not, it's going to be sold on Facebook Marketplace or donated. So this is actually something we're going to do tonight because one of the things about decluttering is not to put it off. When you start doing it, commit to the process as much as possible because when you give yourself a break, you never know when you're going to come back to it and you might actually lose the courage to continue the project so you know any trying on that's going to happen and any piles determined is going to happen tonight so i'll put this aside for them to try on because like i said we're only keeping the things that we can actually still wear this is a kind of a jacket i love this one of my friends gave this to me i wear it all the time especially when i have sweaters because it's kind of like a cape so um my arms can fit through it so it doesn't give me that issue of having like that tight coat arm syndrome i hate that like i don't know if anybody else can relate to that so this is definitely a keeper and we'll put this back over here um uh, also a nice cape that i do wear uh, my ma, mother gave this to me i love it and um it gets a lot of use so this is definitely a keeper okay all right, now this is a lighter jacket. Um, this is something for those cool days we were talking about where you don't need something heavy, just enough to cover your arms or maybe to wear inside if you're going to a place where it's cool. I don't have a lot of jackets like that, so this is definitely something I'm gonna keep as well. <laughs> All right, this is a cape. I think I inherited this from a dear friend. Um, 
who was moving. I don't get to wear it as much because I have the other capes. So because it was donated to me, I feel it's only appropriate since I'm not wearing it as much to donate it to someone else. So this is gonna go in our donate pile. And I'm, the reason I'm kind of talking you all through all of this is so that you can kind of have these same conversations with yourself as you're going through this process. And it, it's good to, to me, like you guys are really my accountability partners, whether you signed up for it or not because me going through this and kind of talking it through with someone else helps. So that's another tip too. You may wanna find someone else who's on a similar journey or even watch more videos like this where other people are doing this. It really is encouraging to watch others do the things that you wanna do in your mind. And sometimes when you see other people doing it, it gives you that little push to do it yourself. Um, this is another lightweight jacket that I really love, especially like for work when it's not too cold but you just need a little covering once again you see my style <laughs> similar style here with um the belt and the double buttons i always love that um so this is definitely a keeper let's put that in the keep pile and then we have this jacket here i'm not sure where i got this jacket and this is really a warm jacket i like it because you know it provides you know it's kind of that faux fur lined um jacket really warm the only thing is i don't really wear it that much uh, i don't like light coats because i always feel like i'm going to get them dirty so even though it's really warm and i like it we're going to try to sell this one on facebook marketplace because um it's in pretty good shape or we actually may donate it i just saw some pin marks on it so for me making that determination is how much effort is it going to take for me to put it in a condition that it's sellable if it requires more energy than that i really want to ascribe to this whole thing it's going in the donation bag. <laughs> the goal is to get it done and move on with your life, not to hold it up with um, unnecessary tasks. And also, that's another thing. Sometimes when you have to do something to the garment, you hang on to it longer than you intend to, and you still have it in the space, so you're kind of defeating the whole purpose of decluttering and minim uh, minimizing um, your content in the first place. Okay, so this is a coat my husband gave me. This is like the best coat ever. Like I've never had a coat as warm as this one. It's a nice leather coat for a line. Um, I would never get rid of this coat. I mean, I would have to like pass this down on to my children because um, I've never had a coat that kept me as warm as this one. The only thing I don't like about it is that because of the fur lining, uh, which is full fur, I believe, it does like bunch up your clothes underneath. And so like when you take your coat off, you have to remember to like pull it down real quick. Um, well, this is a keeper um, for now. And it's still in really good shape. And I think I've had this for probably 10 years. Um, and so that's another thing when you're buying coats, especially as you become an adult, buy for longevity. Um, this is a coat that I've had for a little while. Um, it's, it's not a bad coat, um, but I really don't wear it that much and if I'm trying to get rid of something this is probably a coat that I wouldn't miss but it's still a pretty decent coat so it's a coat that I probably will go ahead and sell all right so our piles are growing here and space is getting less and less although we will be returning the keep coats back here all right this is another coat I had purchased um, it was really on sale, like off season, because I felt like I needed a lighter coat, a lighter winter coat that wasn't quite as thick. And so this is more like a casual um, coat that I would wear with jeans. So um, I still like this coat and something that I think my children would also wear. So I also keep things that can kind of be passed between us because it's like uh, three for one, like one coat that three people can wear. Like it's great to kind of have those in the closet for the three of us all right and honestly once I start putting the coats back we're going to really see how well we've done this is another light coat um, that I have now I feel like as I'm going through this like I'm finding all kinds of reasons to keep coats um, <laughs> but my goal I should guess I should have started by saying that my goal is to at least reduce the amount that we're in here by half and I think we're going to accomplish that um, this is a coat that I really, really like. It's purple, you know, it's unique. I don't really have many color coats, and so I do like to keep this one. And this is a coat my husband gifted me years, years, years ago. Um, 
still in great condition. I mean, it has some fading to it, but it still has a lot of life in it and it has sentimental value. And so uh, I think I'll always keep the things that my husband gives me um, just because I like to remember those, <laughs> those times where he thought of me. But this is actually a really great coat to keep. So there we go with that. Um, I'm gonna keep that there. And then this, like, this is one of my favorite coats. Even though I said I didn't like the light coats, like, this is where I make the exception <laughs> because this coat, I just, to me, when I have it on, I don't even care what I have underneath it. I just, it just makes me feel so cute in it. It's one of my favorite coats. So um, I'm happy to have that. I'm going to keep that one. All right, and this coat, I really like this coat. It's kind of cute, kind of has little, little frills on it. But it's also one of those coats that I think I've really outgrown in terms of being able to wear it with a lot of things. And so we're going to go ahead and donate this coat. Okay. How do you think, guys think we're doing so far? I guess we'll see when we start putting back the ones that we kept. Um, this is a really nice coat. I, uh, once again, this is a coat I think that was donated to me. This is more like for church during a winter month. Um, I also, I don't really wear it that much, you know? And um, <laughs> I thought I would. I thought I would wear it a lot more. And that's sometimes the part of decluttering that gets us because when we think we're going to wear something and we hold on to it because of the possibility or because of who gave it to us, we kind of have to release ourselves from <laughs> the guilt of letting go of something that someone gave us if we're not using it because it doesn't make sense for it to hold space if it's not really being used. And so this is definitely a coat that I would sell. Um, or I may reach out to my friend and see if she <laughs> wants it back before I do that. But um, I honor the fact that it was given to me. And, uh, but right now it doesn't fit this season of my life. And so I have to go ahead and commit to selling it. And the same goes for this coat here. This is a great coat. I mean, it looks really, really warm. I think it, I don't even know if I even wore this because when it comes down to grabbing a coat, this is not necessarily the kind of coat that I would grab. So um, we're going to say goodbye to this one as well. We're going to sell it. So here we are. Now it's time to put back all of the coats that we're going to keep. So let's do that very quickly. Okay. <laughs> So we are done with that process. Um, immediately, I can see, well, we're gonna take this out because we don't need it in here. Immediately, I can see where it's very easy for me to see all of the coats in the closet, which is the first indication of success. Um, and my daughter's coats are on this side. Mine are here and my husband's is here. Um, and the good thing about this is, this is all of our coats. So it's not like we have some stuff somewhere else. Um, this is even more than we really need. But like I said, sometimes it's good to just do an immediate purge and then maybe come back later throughout the season and really see what you're wearing and then just peel it away if it's not something that you see that you're incorporating um, during the winter months. But I'm really pleased with what we've done with the coats. Um, let me know what you think. Just to remind you a few tips when you're decluttering your closet, ask yourself, um, have I worn it within the last year? Some people say six months. I say within the last year, especially when it comes to coats. Um, how does it make me feel when I put it on? Do I like to wear it or is it an annoying thing that I just keep forcing myself to put on because it was given to me or I like the way it looks, but it doesn't feel well? You have to ask yourself that. And then, of course, making sure you have those three categories, whether you're going to donate, sell, or keep um, established ahead of time and making sure that you stick to that. And even when you're thinking about selling, ask yourself, is this gonna take a lot of time for me to make it sellable? If so, just go ahead and donate it and don't waste your time or your energy. All right, guys, <laughs> I hope that's been helpful for you. I hope it's encouraged you to maybe take a look at your own coat closet and see what you can do to minimize it this winter, uh, not yet, but fall and winter season. Well, thanks for tuning in to Latasha Hewitt Homes. Happy simplifying, happy minimizing, and please, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you and we'll see you in the next video. Oh guys, don't worry. I didn't forget about our trusty hat and scarf and gloves basket. 
We're going to tackle those two in another video, but um, we're very hopeful because of the great progress that we've made with our coat closet today.